Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up XAMPP Server on Windows Server 2019 running on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed XAMPP Server along with Apache Web Server, MySQL, FileZilla and so much more. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then select the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once that is done, simply scroll down and choose the machine type of the virtual machine according to your requirements. And after that, choose the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. At the very end, simply click on accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After that, you simply need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for that, we need to set up an administrator account for the Windows 2019. So simply click on this little arrowhead icon and then click on set Windows password. It is going to ask you for the username, so provide yourself a username and then hit on set. It is going to take a few moments but it will show you your password that you would be using to establish an RDP connection with Windows Server 2019. So simply copy this password and store it somewhere safe. Once that is done, simply close down this dialog box, then click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engines. On this page you get a list of your virtual machines, so copy the external IP address of your virtual machine and then hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and paste the IP address in front of the computer field and then simply click on show options type in the username that you have just used to create the administrator account for windows server and then click on connect and then it is going to ask you for the password so simply paste in the password that you had stored previously and then click on ok and then it is going to show you another dialog box so click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established once the connection has been established you also need to wait for the windows server 2019 to completely load now once the windows server has completely loaded you can start using the xamp however if you want to get the most out of xamp and its feature you can access the xamp control panel from the desktop now as you can see that we have different services and features such as Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. So whichever service that you like to start you can simply start that with this start button. Since I'm going to show you most of these so we are going to start all of them. Another thing that you might notice is that as soon as a service is started its ports are visible here. That is because these are the ports on which these services are being hosted on the local host. Now, if you want to access the admin panel or the dashboard for a particular service or feature such as Apache, then you can do that by simply clicking the admin button right over here. So first of all, let's try accessing the admin panel or dashboard for Apache by clicking this admin button. So as you can see that this is the dashboard for Apache. Now let's try accessing the dashboard for MySQL. Now if you want to manage SQL, XAMPP comes with phpMyAdmin. So if you want to open up the admin panel for phpMyAdmin, then simply click on this button and it should open up the localhost slash phpMyAdmin in a new tab in the Internet Explorer. Now as you can see that it did not ask us for any credentials. That is because with a fresh installation of XAMPP, the root password is set to blank. So that is why phpMyAdmin has been opened up and you can start managing your MySQL database. Anyways, let's move on to the next service. The next service is FileZilla. Now FileZilla is used for FTP services. So if you want to open up the admin panel or the admin portal for FileZilla, then simply click on this button and it is going to open up this tiny dialog box, which is going to connect to localhost at the port number 14147. And again, with the fresh installation of XAMPP, the administration password is set to blank. So simply clicking on OK would connect us to the FileZilla server. And just like that, you can see that we have logged on to the FileZilla server. And lastly, we have the Tomcat server. So if you want to access the Tomcat panel or dashboard, simply clicking on this button would redirect a new tab in the Internet Explorer to localhost and the port number is going to be 8080 on which Apache Tomcat is being hosted. Anyways, if you want to know how to configure and how to work with these different services or if you want to understand all the other features that come with XAMPP, then what you can do is that you can access the how to guide. Now to access this how to guide, simply open up this file on the desktop that says getting started. In here you would find this link. So copy this link and paste this link inside the Internet Explorer in a new tab. 
and hit enter. So this is the Windows how to guide on how to configure different services and different features that come with XAMPP. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud Platform and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up XAMPP server on Google Cloud Platform. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.